What to do, Airheads, and welcome back to another video in our How to TA series. We're talking about order books, order book depth, and we are talking about mob charts today, which is this beauty right here a free site for real time streaming order book information, both historical and current. Understanding order book depth is integral to being a trader. It helps us know the supply and demand levels of any given asset. Now, what prompted me to make this video today was this tweet right here. This idiot saying, if you can't afford to pay for a TARDIS subscription, you probably don't have the capital to justify crypto trading. Working 10 hours more a week would definitely be better, is essentially what he's saying right there. For the record, a TARDIS subscription is expensive as hell. TARDIS, crypto, let's take a look at it, right? I mean, they are like, $450 a month is what they start at to get all the exchanges, $1,650 a month. Don't get me wrong, TARDIS is an amazing site. I've played around with it a little bit. It did not fit my trading style or I found other sites I can get the same data from for free. Why work harder and spend $1,650 a month when you can get that same or similar data elsewhere for free? Not to mention, not you know everyone's got to start somewhere this is like a brain dead deaf tone tweet right it's trying to be like gainsy if you're gonna call people poor just call people poor right i mean that's that's essentially what he's doing here everyone's got to start somewhere so that's why i'm making this video right now to show you a free order book program and lastly i will say this before we get into the heart of the video if you are not familiar with order book this video is for you but i also have an entire ta series based around order books and trading and trading strategies hit that playlist in the description below but essentially it's important to know these levels because they are support and resistance levels right if we get down to twenty eight thousand today unless the sell pressure is so strong we should bounce to the top side off of twenty eight thousand. so you want to take orders off of these liquidity levels more often than not it's a little more complicated than that i'm dumbing it down but on top of that we also know from past history and past experience in my own experience when we see that liquidity has moved off of a chart like we had a big block of liquidity right here just come off the chart there is a good chance that we move to the upside because the walls have been dampened above us liquidity moves for a reason not only does it help us find those support and resistance levels but it helps us find potential moves one way or the other based off of liquidity being pulled without further ado do me a favor smash that thumbs up button subscribe turn notifications on this channel, it is my goal to make you a better trader because guess what? It makes me a better trader as well. Up in Discord, discord.gg slash alpha air. And let's just get into the video. Now, that tweet wasn't 100% wrong. He is partially right. If you don't have the funds to spend on subscriptions for trading, you probably shouldn't be a trader at the moment. You should probably just be a holder. If you can't afford Bookmap for $19.99 a month, or you can't afford a few subscriptions to make you a better trader and get the data that you need to be a better trader, you should probably just be a holder and focus on that for the time being. That is not calling you poor. That is just the facts. But you do not need a $1,650 a month subscription. Mobcharts.com right now is free. My guess is they will have a subscription price in the future. Right now it is free. You can donate to them. I did. If you want to do me a favor, there is no referrals or anything right now. But if you want to use my referral link in the description below, I would appreciate it. Click that link. Head on over to mobchart.com. This is the point where I would pause the video, set up and sign up for your account, and then click on dashboard. Your dashboard will look like this to start. What you wanna do then is go to charts and workspaces, and we are going to create a workspace. So I'm just gonna call this one testing, and we are going to create a new workspace. So right here, testing, right? I'm gonna enter my workspace. So now you have the default layout right here. Now, the nice thing about this is you can add extra panes, right? So I'm going to actually add a new widget first, and then I'm going to take this widget and make it smaller. So you can drag them just like that and move them around. So I'm going to create another chart widget, and I'm going to do a futures on BTC. 
And I'm just going to do the five minute. That's my preferred trading time frame. Make these the same size. I'm going to make this one a little bit larger too. Drag this up here. So now I have both on the left hand side a spot chart and a futures chart in one. And then we can just drag these around, fill the screen. You can set this up to your own liking. So left hand side, we have the spot charts. And then right hand side, we have the futures charts. You should know the order book depth on both. Now on both charts, you do have your different indicators right here. You can throw on there, RSI, MACD. You got your CVD down here, your Delta right here. I, had, I threw on RSI on there. On the main chart, we can actually do footprints. We can turn on Delta mode, turn on this indicator. And if you guys know what Excel charts are, essentially you get that for the candles. You can see the activity inside of each candle. And you can customize everything from the colors to the chart layout. You can add widgets, right? And we can actually add the actual order book as well. If you we want to actually add the spot order book and not to mention guys, it's got every token on here, multiple exchanges, as well as every single token that's on that exchange. So if you want an FLM order book on spot, there it is right there. There's the buy side, there's the sell side. Just by looking at it, we can see that the buy side looks a little bit stronger than the sell side at the moment. And then when we turn off Delta mode, just FYI, you can hover over the chart like right here and you can see where the thicker levels of liquidity are. So these numbers are amount to BTC, right? So, you know, in our current range, there's 800 or 666 BTC sitting just right, right above us. If we go over to the spot side, um, we have to turn off the footprints to see that, right? But we can see here above us 38.52. It doesn't really get thick to about 28.9 ish. We get 130 Bitcoin sitting right there. So good level to mark out on your trading view charts or with this, you don't really have to because it visualizes it for you. I mean, you can actually TA on this chart if you want, because it's got a lot of the tools, not all of them over here. The thicker the color, the more intense the color, the more liquidity there is there, the more chance that we get a pause at that level. But when I do liquidity trading, I'm paying attention to where these levels are because they are support and resistance. Obviously, if they're below us, they're support. If they're above us, they're resistance. Typically speaking, when I try to take entries, I'm taking entries off of these liquidity levels because they are support and resistance. But I also use other indicators, trend lines, trading chart patterns. But this is just my go-to, my new go-to for order book liquidity. It also has a screener. So if we click on screener under the menu right there, we can actually screen these coins so we can see the order quantity, order sizes, order duration. We can, we can kind of search whatever, but they have a pretty good screener here. You can change the settings on here as well. You can actually set up notifications for yourself. I haven't really played around with this yet, but it's a great site. I recommend you playing around with it a little bit, playing around with the different indicators, setting it up how you like, and then just kind of watching it. And remember, as with any type of new system that you are throwing in, you, you need to back test it and formulate your strategy around it. It's really good because you get a lot, a lot in one. And then also it's free right now. Take advantage of it while it is free. See if it works for you. I personally like it. It is not as resource heavy as Bookmap is. If any of you guys use Bookmap, you know that it's like a hog on your computer. If I can get rid of Bookmap and add in MOB charts, which it's looking like I'm going to, uh, that's going to save my computer a heck of a lot of resources. But like I said, if you want to know more about like CVD perps and Delta or liquidity and order books, Check out the playlist in the description below. I mean, really you should start at video number one, but you can skip to three if you want to just watch the Mastering Liquidity and Order books. But I have started this series to make you guys better traders, which in turn makes me a better trader because it helps me hone in on my strategies, fame and technique. But that's it, that's the video. I want to put you guys on to mobcharts.com and just show you that, I mean, you get the historical view of the order book as well as the current view of the order book. And just to kind of show you yesterday, so both on the spot side and on the perpetual futures side, we saw some liquidity get pulled before us before that giant move to the upside. And whether that was insider trading or not, 
A lot of conspiracy theories on that with that crazy move we had yesterday. But typically speaking, when I see orders being pulled above us, we go in that direction if it's significant, right? That's like the wells are setting us up for a move in that direction. So order book trading, incredibly important, incredibly key. Check us out. Let me know how what you think about it. Hop in Discord, discord.gg slash alpha air. Let me know down below what you think of this free, amazing site, which a lot of other sites, I mean, like uh, materialindicators.com charges $130 a month for this information. Bookmap, you know, starts at like $19.99 a month. They have a free version as well. But uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys. Just wanted to get this out there for you.